What's up guys, I'm Tim, and welcome to 2019. It was a fantastic year last year, I had a lot of great fun building stuff in the shop, and I'm really wanting to improve overall the shop, projects, everything this year. Usually though, after a year of work, and it's starting off the new year, my shop is a complete mess. I gotta get stuff organized, fixed up. This year is no exception, and it is really bad. I have stuff like all over the place, mixed up, I have auto working stuff in different places. I have my sandblaster right here next to my workbench and as you can tell my workbench is like became a storage unit. I have this toolbox right here that's on this pegboard wall so I can't even utilize anything in this corner. So this year instead of just coming up with some kind of tool to fix something or kind of organizing something I want to go ahead and really actually straighten up this place and set it apart from each other. So like in this corner or this half the shop maybe, it would be woodworking, over here maybe do like automotive stuff, and then over in this corner, maybe make it like welding, grinding and stuff. Because one thing I don't understand is why I have a grinder over here, metalworking stuff right here, paint storage and stuff right here. It doesn't make any sense. Stuff is all over. What I wanna do this year is really get more efficient with my stuff, make better videos for you guys. And to do that, I have to be able to move around good in the shop and right now it's not working out. So the plan right now is just to kind of see where things are, kind of label stuff where I want everything and build a list pro or project list right here. So I'll go through and see what I need and then I'll be writing it down, work through it, make some build videos, you know? You guys want to see that kind of stuff. You guys want to see shop projects. It's the number one thing that I've always seen viewed on my channel is stuff made in the shop. That's what this year is going to be about, organizing my shop, but being able to pump out videos. I mean, really, I have lights sitting on my table saw. So one of the first things that I really see is that I have a wall on the pegboard that has a lot of hammers already on it, and I have more just sitting around. One thing I want to do is build a dedicated rack. So that's what we'll put on the list real quick. How I'm gonna do that, I don't know, but this is just the start, this is where I'm gonna start with, is just writing things down, maybe sketch some stuff up later over the weeks, and then come back to the shop and dig into it. All right, so one thing I think about this wall is that I can possibly make this a complete, like, um, what you call it, French cleat wall. Do it from like here over and just layer it with French cleats because I think that would be really good, beneficial. I can move stuff all around. I have the weed eater holder up there. I have the cut off wheels, stuff like that sitting up here. Maybe do that on this wall and over here on this wall. Not sure. I definitely want to get rid of that old air conditioner. I never use it. I think it might even be broken. But today's the day that we do something about some of this stuff. Right now, we just need to kind of get organized and see what we have. So I changed over this table when I got rid of the drill press, which I got that new one. I changed this one over to kind of like a sanding station. Right now, it's still kind of storage. So what I need to do is go ahead and get that ready to be mounted up there and then it'll be somewhat completed. So it turns out that the base is actually glued to the sanding station. So I have to figure out a different way to cut it. I was gonna throw it on the table saw, I cleaned it off, now I can't do that.
So one thing that I've learned over my course of being in the shop is that if I leave something in a package like this, I'll hang it up and then it'll never get used. So one thing I need to do is start trying to make like little bins or something like that to get these out of packages and get them to where I'm gonna be using them. They're mounted right here next to the drill press right now, but I wanna make sure that I can actually use it whenever the time comes. All right, so I think one thing I've already established is that this is gonna be the automotive and kind of the homeowner side of things. So I'm gonna keep like the weed eater, generator, stuff like that over in this corner, all the, the toolbox, all my automotive stuff. And then somewhere over here, I'm gonna end up starting to get into woodworking because this can kind of be used for both sections, the grinder, sanders, and the drill press. And then you get into woodworking over this side, I wrap it around and then I've gotta start just cleaning. So one thing I know I'm gonna be able to do now though is by anything automotive, I can take over to this corner and then sort out later. So what I want to do today is look for some scrap wood and build a hammer rack. So what I need to do before attaching this to the actual wall or the back plate I have to put 
the posts in because these are going to be a little bit tight. Got one post. there it is it's put up now this whole entire thing was made out of one by sixes with some scrap French cleat on the back I added the new piece down here I think I want to add one more French cleat up here somewhere in case I want to hang something um, maybe get these cords out of the way not sure but this was very simple to make just drilling two holes mounting everything together and these were old trampoline posts that uh, I had saved for some odd reason and now they came in handy. So I just sanded them down, took off the outside material and then spray painted them black and then stuck a power built sticker on them because uh, why not, right? So there it is and if I ever want to move it, the deal with the French cleat is that if I ever want to move it, I can just pick it up and take it away somewhere just like those pieces up there i can move those around anywhere i want now don't ever have to worry about having them stationed or like a permanent spot everything's mobile i like it all right so i really like the design of the hammer rack and i have another thing that i want to check off my list so i can go ahead and check off hammer rack the other thing i want to do is a paper towel holder I think I can use almost the exact same design. Alright, so that's not going to go anywhere. Then we'll be able to put the other one on. And put that piece of PVC pipe through it. And then we should be able to hold two things of paper towels for when I'm working in here. Alright, so there it is with no paper towels on it and there it is with paper towels on it i like it so i don't think it will get in the way of walking around the bench at all so there you can see that it's nice and tucked up underneath and if i ever need any yeah, i just reach underneath and pull it out and i've got two different kinds of paper towels one for automotive work and then like cleaning up oil and stuff like that and then one regular paper towel I was supposed to get this place cleaned up and it seems like all I did was make more of a mess, move stuff around, but I did get a couple things accomplished. I got the toolbox moved over here. I opened up this part of the pegboard, which was pretty important, I think, because now I can actually hang and store stuff there. Made the hammer rack in the corner and also got the paper towel holder underneath the bench. So now I can have easy access to that. But, there's so much more to do. So maybe for a, a New Year's resolution, I will try to make it a point that anytime I use a tool, I'll go ahead and put it back and in the correct area at that. You know, I have sections now I wanna to try to kind of zone out. I got my automotive engine, uh, car work area over in this 
corner behind you guys. And then I have my woodworking on like this half the shop. And then I guess maybe metalworking or maybe I should turn this entire area to like a paint and finishing area. What do you guys think? You know, what are your ideas, thoughts about this? Do you guys have sections in your shop if you guys have like a lot of different things you do, different hobbies? Do you guys have different sections? Do you keep it organized like that? Or do you guys just let everything kind of blend together and just try to keep up with it? Hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you guys enjoyed the hammer rack and also the paper towel holder of two very simple projects, but now I have a designated spot for it. I also built more onto the French cleat wall, which was awesome. This bench is next to get cleaned up. I got so much crap on it. I have my lathe sitting on the floor, lathe tools over there. I can't even remember last time I used that. Guys, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I hope you guys appreciate the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, smash it. And if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that bell as well so that you guys get notifications every time I post a video, which is every Sunday. I'm gonna make it a point this year to post videos every Sunday so you guys know exactly when to come out and hang out. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you guys check out the videos up in a corner and also hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys next weekend for even more stuff.